So in this video series, we are going to cover the JavaScript programming language, which is one of the most popular programming language in the world. Guys, we are also going to cover many exercises that you can practice on your own that will help you to understand more about the JavaScript programming language. So guys, first of all, in this video, we are going to have a small introduction about JavaScript. Also, we will see how you can install the Node.js, which is the server environment where you can write the JavaScript code and run on the backend server and then we are going to see the hello world example in javascript so guys basically the javascript is the world's most popular programming language and previously it was only used for the front end development along with the html and the css but then with the help of the node.js server environment we can use javascript programming language for the backend development as well so guys javascript is the programming language of the web so basically whatever pages you see that is the websites that you see on the internet most of them will be having the javascript code as far as the interaction with the website is concerned apart from this it is a must learn language to become a web developer so guys if you want to become a front-end web developer or a back-end developer as well javascript is the one of the programming language that you should know now guys what is the uses so basically html is used to create the web pages that you can see on the websites and then apart from this the css for which we have already covered the tutorial series is used to design the web pages so guys basically html and css will only help you to create and design the web pages if you are new to html and css first of all you should go through the tutorial series that i have already created for you for both these technologies that is html and css the link i have given in the description section below and then comes the javascript which is used in order to interact with the web pages so guys if you want to add life to your web page inside the website Site, then you can use the JavaScript programming language in order to provide the interaction with the web pages that you have already created and designed. So guys, we will check with the help of examples how JavaScript will work. Apart from this, what is Node.js? So for now, you only need to know that Node.js is an open source server environment and basically it is free to use. So guys, basically you can use the JavaScript code inside the Node.js server environment in order to achieve some particular task based on your project requirements and then node.js can run on various platforms such as windows linux unix mac os and several other platforms and then apart from this node.js uses javascript on the server so guys previously as i have told you javascript was used along with the html and css in order to create the websites as a part of front-end web development but guys with the help of the node.js you can also make use of the javascript programs as the backend and technology as well now guys you can easily install node.js with the help of this particular link which i have already given in the description section below so this is the node.js link from where you can download the latest version of the node.js we will see how you can use the node.js as well and then apart from this the editor that we are going to use in this video series is vs code over here and to download the vs code you can use this link which i have given in the description section below and this is the page in order to download the vs code now guys let us check the example of how javascript works with the help of the console.log and the script tag over here so guys let us move to the vs code in this case and let me just open the folder that i have already created in this case so basically we will make use of this javascript folder over here now guys inside this we have the test.js file inside which we can write our own javascript code now guys before writing any javascript code over here let us create the html file inside the javascript folder so we have something called as index.html file now guys what we will do is simply we are going to create the html document template so as you can see we have created the html document template over here and for the title part we will say javascript tutorial so guys basically we have provided the title as well now what we will do is simply we will provide the diff tag and then we will say hello world in this case so guys basically this is a very simple statement that is hello world inside the diff tag let me just save this file now so let me just open this html page on the web browser so simply we will copy the path over here and on the browser simply we are going to paste this path so guys this is a very basic html page that we have already covered in our html video series 
as well now how do you write the javascript code so guys we can simply provide the script tag over here either inside the head tag or inside the body tag so let us check how we can do that so simply inside the head tag first of all as you can see this is the emmet abbreviation when we type the script tag over here simply you can select this emmet abbreviation over here and then guys as you can see this is the starting tag and the ending tag of the script tag over here inside which we can write the javascript code now guys simply we can write the console.log which is one of the important methods in order to print any string inside the browser console section so guys as you can see this is the method that is first of all we have to use the console keyword followed by dot and then we use the log method over here and then let's say we want to print the name of this youtube channel so let's say we have programming for beginners which is the name of this youtube channel which you should definitely subscribe if you have not done so so guys basically this is a very simple statement that is used in order to print this particular string inside the console section of the web browser when you include it inside the script tag over here so when we save this file now and when we reload this page on the browser let me just open the console section first of all so simply we can right click and click on the inspect option over here so it will open the element section inside the browser so as you can see we have the console tab in this case so simply we have to switch over here on the console now guys when we reload the page on which we have included the script tag over here let me just reload it as you can see programming for beginners is now getting printed over here inside the console section of the browser so guys in this way we can easily write our javascript code over here inside the script tag which is included inside the head section over here now guys it is very important to note over here that when we provide the script tag inside the head section so basically whatever code we have written inside the body tag it will be delayed by some extent since the script tag will be interpreted first by the browser so guys it is one of the best practices in order to provide the script tag inside the body body tag and at the end of the body over here so simply i'm going to remove the script section from the head tag over here and then after the div tag that we have provided and before the end of the body tag we can simply paste the script tag that is having our javascript code so guys this is one of the best practices since whatever elements are to be displayed on the web page those must be interpreted first by the browser and then in the end the javascript code must be loaded and then executed so guys this will be one of the best practices in order to provide the better user experience experience and user must not wait for the html elements to be displayed just because our script is loading inside the head tag of the html page so whenever you are going to write any of the javascript code always remember to have the script tag at the end of the body tag over here so when we save this file now it is going to have the same behavior that is it is going to print this programming for beginners so let me just reload this page once again as you can see we have programming for beginners let me just provide certain more keywords over here so we have programming for beginners youtube channel in this case let me just save this file now and when we reload this page as you can see we have the statement programming for beginners youtube channel so guys in this way simply you can provide the console.log statement in order to provide certain string to be printed on the browser now guys with the time you are going to write more and more complex websites so in that case what you have to do is you will have to write multiple lines of code over here as far as the javascript code is concerned so in order to maintain the html and the javascript code properly you can separate this javascript code from the html code over here so simply i'm going to copy this line that is console.log over here and then inside the test.js as you can see we have created another file over here let me just delete this file and recreate it so that it becomes easy for you as a beginner in order to create the javascript file so guys let me just add the new file over here and simply Simply we are going to name this file as test and then followed by dot since it is a javascript file we need to provide the extension that is dot js over here so as you can see this is the extension dot js in this case when we press enter as you can see this is the test dot js file that is created for us and then simply we have to paste the console dot log statement that we had copied from the html file and then guys what we have to do is very important thing is we need to link this particular html file
file with the javascript file over here in order to link it what we can do is simply we can use the script tag over here along with the source attribute as you can see script colon src this is the emmet abbreviation that we must use and when we use this emmet abbreviation it provides the src attribute as well for which the value must be the path of the javascript file that we have created so guys basically this is the external javascript file that we have already created which we have to link it with the html file over here so simply since both these files are present in the same directory we can provide the name of the javascript file that is test.js in this case so guys as you can see this is a very simple statement in order to link the html file with the javascript file over here when we save this file now again you will not see any change over here the same statement should be printed that is programming for beginners youtube channel so when we reload this page as you can see there is nothing that is getting printed over here that's because we forgot to save this file that is the javascript file you can see over here so guys it is very important to save all all the files whenever you are writing the code inside the HTML CSS or the JavaScript files so let me just save this file now and when we reload this page once again as you can see programming for beginners YouTube channel is now getting printed over here on the console section of the browser so guys in this way you can write the JavaScript code inside the external JavaScript file that we have already created and link that file with the HTML file with the help of the script tag at the end of the body tag over here now guys apart from this let us also add another statement over here so simply you can type log keyword over here and as you can see log to the console this is one of the important shorthand method that vs code provides you in order to write the code faster so simply you can press enter over here so console.log statement will be printed in this case and then let us say we want to provide the other statement that is hello world in this case with the exclamation mark so as you can see this is the second statement that must be printed so when we save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser you can see that two statements are getting printed over here and it is also providing the line number of the external javascript file which is helping us in order to print these statements in this case so guys this is as far as the front end development is concerned with the help of the javascript code now guys when you are going to copy this file at the back end and you simply want to run this file with the help of the node.js then how it will work so guys simply what you can do is open terminal over here on the vs code so this is the keyboard shortcut that is control plus backtick and then guys what you have to do is go to that directory path where your js file is present and simply you can provide a node followed by space character and then the name of the file that is test.js over here so guys as you can see you make use of this node command in this case in order to run this particular javascript file so when we press enter over here as you can see the same code that we had written in the javascript is now getting printed over here programming for beginners youtube channel and hello world these are the two statements that we wanted to print so guys this is as far as your backend development is concerned with the help of the node command you can print those statements over here apart from this we are going to learn a lot in the upcoming sessions as well so basically when you are going to learn about the javascript programming language either you can integrate it to your existing html file and provide the interaction with your web pages or else you can write the backend code as well and run it with the help of the node command over here as we have seen in this case by using the node command followed by the name of the javascript file guys it is important to install node.js over here with the help of this particular link in order to run this particular command with the node keyword in this case so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to learn about how to change the html content using javascript so stay tuned